Hello, Unbreak Me here with a look at the top 10 LEGO Mindstorm sets. Believe it or not, there have actually been more than 20 LEGO Mindstorm sets ever released. Mindstorms is an incredibly important part of LEGO Technics history, and when it was first released back in 1998, it became an instant success, with it even being featured on Computer Chronicles. But before we get started, I'd like to thank the Kingta store of Amazon for sponsoring today's video. They sent me the SZJJX 3-in-1 construction truck take apart toys for free and I gotta say that it is one of the best toys you can find for just $34. Essentially, it is a remotely controlled car with connectable modules to make it into the desired construction vehicle of your choice. And now we can change the modules to make it into an excavator which is just a joy to play with. It really does give me a feeling as if I'm controlling an actual excavator. And finally, we have the front loader which is certainly one of the best construction vehicles there is. On top of that, you can press this button and get an interactive sound. The King Test store of Amazon also sells plenty more cool stuff like high-speed remotely controlled cars, boats, and even a wireless game controller for PS4. If you've been looking to get an affordable remotely controlled vehicle, then the King Test store of Amazon is the perfect place for you. At number 10 we have the LEGO Mindstorms Robotics Invention System version 1.0. This set included a light sensor, two touch sensors, and some motors. It was just an incredible LEGO set and you could make some insane robots with this set. You could create thousands of different robotic inventions and one of the best parts about the RCX system is that it is actually compatible with the 9V LEGO electronic system, meaning you could easily integrate the RCX into any of your LEGO Technic creations. This is very similar to how you're now able to integrate the LEGO Spike Prime system with LEGO Technic because they use the same exact connectors. The programming language for this robot is called RCX code, which is essentially a block coding interface meant to be very intuitive for anyone, whether you're just getting started with programming or if you're already a more advanced programmer. There was just one problem with the RCX though. The infrared tower for transmitting data between the computer and the RCX was very unreliable and would often get disconnected. I just want to say, if you want to learn all about LEGO Technic, some of its rarest pieces, the history of LEGO Technic, and so much more, then make sure to subscribe. I noticed that only about 10% of you are actually subscribed, so let's get that number just a little higher. But no pressure, no pressure. At number 9 we have the LEGO Mindstorms Robotics Discovery set number 9735. The main appeal of the Robotics Discovery set is that it could be used without a computer, without ever needing to actually program your robot. It had two ports for motors, two ports for touch sensors, and a light sensor over here. You could use the flashlight to control this set, and you could also use the touch sensors for interactive control. You could make an abundance of different robots with the set, like the bug, a basketball hoop, and even more. If you ever wanted to experience the old LEGO Mindstorms, but you didn't want to install the older CX software and use the infrared tower and all that, then I suggest getting the Robotics Discovery set. It's a wonderful LEGO Robotics set. At number 8 we have the LEGO Mindstorms Droid Developer Kit set number 9748. With this Droid Developer Kit you got a micro scout unit which could be controlled with a light but you did not have any input or output ports. You just had one internal motor here at the bottom. With this Droid Developer Kit you could make three different robots just using the instructions. You could make the L3GO Trainer Droid, R2D2, or a Jedi Knight droid. My favorite model out of all of these is the R2-D2. What I really appreciate about the astromech is if you spin the motor in one direction, the R2-D2 will go forwards. But if you spin the motor in the opposite direction, it will not just go backwards, rather the R2-D2 will turn. Which is an incredibly cool functionality you can achieve with just one motor, both driving and turning. This old LEGO Mindstorms droid developer kit reminds me a lot of the modern day LEGO Boost Star Wars set, and even the Micro Scout unit itself is very reminiscent of an actual LEGO Boost unit. It does not have any ports or motors or really anything like that, however it does have an internal motor, much like how the LEGO Boost system also has two internal motors. The LEGO Mindstorms droid developer kit is certainly one of the best aspects of the old LEGO Mindstorms, but this is just scratching the surface of what the Micro Scout unit was capable of. Let's look at number 7. 
Here we have the Dark Side Developer Kit, and essentially you can make droids just using the instructions out of the box. First we have the LA Geo Navigator, which was just a basic droid with really nothing special. Next we have the Destroyer Droid, and this droid is one of the best parts about the Clone Wars, and so I really appreciate this droid a lot. However, this isn't the best part of the Dark Side Developer Kit, as here we have a fully motorized walking Lego Mindstorms AT-AT. This AT-AT is just incredible. I mean, sure, it doesn't look that good, but you have to keep in mind that you are able to control this set with a flashlight and it walks forward just with a motorization function. Yes, you did get a motorized at, -AT later, which looked much better, more detailed, but this is a LEGO Mindstorm set, this is a LEGO Robotics set, it's not exactly meant to be a display set. Personally, I cannot stress enough just how much I love the LEGO Mindstorm's Dark Side Developer Kit. It has so many cool pieces that you can use to make all kinds of different robots. And with the Dark Side Developer Kit, the set is not designed in a way that the model should be built once and then never be touched again. The LEGO Mindstorm's Dark Side Developer Kit actually encourages you to make all kinds of different droids, and even in the instructions booklet, itself, it shows so much inspiration for various LEGO Star Wars vehicles. And I really appreciate that with the both the Droid Developer Kit and with the Dark Side Developer Kit, you don't have to have a computer to program it, you don't have to use the mobile app to program it or anything like that. All of the programs come pre-built into the actual Micro Scout unit itself, and you can just get started with it right away. Next up we have the LEGO Mindstorms Vision Command set number 9731. This is the only camera that was ever released by the official LEGO company, and it works together with the robotics invention system. This camera could be connected up to your computer, and you could program your robot so that it tracks different objects, responds to different hand signals, and so much more. With the LEGO Mindstorms Vision Command set, you could take your robotics to another level. This LEGO camera was actually surprisingly easy to use in the robotics invention system software, and it really really was groundbreaking for the time. We have never seen anything like it in the LEGO Robotics world at the time, and even today a LEGO camera for your LEGO Robotics creations is truly something unheard of. Next up we have the LEGO Mindstorms Education EV3 core set. This set included three motors, two touch sensors, one gyro sensor, a color sensor, and an ultrasonic sensor, as well as a rechargeable battery for your EV3 brick. The LEGO Mindstorms Education Core Set with the EV3 was really something incredible, especially with its main core set models. First, you have the Gyro Boy, which is a self-balancing Segway robot, and you could control it with the different colors, and it also had moving arms. It really was incredible, and the code for it is also pretty complex. You also have the EV3 robot arm, which is very reminiscent of the the old NXT robot arm T56. You also got the color sorter with this set, and it took full advantage of the color sensor, and it really showed you what it's capable of. With this set you also had the puppy model, and the puppy model was essentially a robot dog, which was also incredibly cute. And with the expansion set you could make so many different cool models. First you have the tank bot, then you have the Zenap, which is an incredibly, incredibly cool little model. You also have the stair climber, just the concept itself of climbing stairs is truly fascinating. Then you have the elephant, the elephant is really one of the best aspects of the LEGO Mindstorms EB3 education sets. You also have the spinner factory, it used six motors, meaning you had to daisy chain two EV3 bricks together, and I mean words cannot express just how fascinating this spinner factory is. And last but not least, you also have your remote control for all of your EV3 models. At number 4 we have the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 31313 set, and it contained three motors and only three sensors, one touch sensor, one color sensor, and one infrared distance sensor, but it also did contain an infrared remote control, which is kinda cool. One of the best parts about the EV3 is that you could daisy chain multiple EV3 bricks together, up to four, so you could have 16 motors and 16 sensors, meaning you could create some insane robots and the EV3 also had expandable storage up to 32 gigabytes, so you could store some really large files and very large and complex programs on the EV3 brick. So the EV3 did have some really insane possibilities. 
At number 3 we have the LEGO Mindstorms Robot Inventor set number 51515. This had included 4 motors, 1 color sensor and 1 ultrasonic sensors. These motors had absolute positioning, meaning they were much better than the previous motors. The new system also did come with plenty of advantages over the previous EB3 system, such as the smaller size, the internal 3-axis gyroscope as well as the accelerometer, and powered up compatibility. Overall, I really love this set. At number 2 we have the LEGO Mindstorms NXT 1.0 set number 8527. This set is really incredible. It included 3 motors, a touch sensor, a sound sensor, a light sensor and an ultrasonic sensor to see distance. I had a ton of fun playing with the old NXT 1.0 set. It was truly incredible. At number 1, we have the LEGO Mindstorms NXT 2.0 set number 8547. This set included 3 motors, 2 touch sensors, a color sensor and an ultrasonic sensor. On top of that, community contributions were at an all-time high when the LEGO Mindstorms NXT 2.0 was released. Not only did we have LEGO High Technic, we also had NXC, which is not exactly C, a programming language based on C, and you also had something way more legendary. In November of 2009, which is the same year that the LEGO Mindstorms NXT 2.0 was released, Stephen J. Woodsend published a bachelor thesis for engineering titled Coordinated LEGO Segways. In his thesis, he explained exactly how you can make your own self-balancing Segway robots. He wrote down all of the equations you needed to know, the behavioral programming of the robot, and so much more. His bachelor thesis sparked a massive interest in LEGO Mindstorm Segways, and LEGO Mindstorm Segways are really something incredible. And just the concept itself is breathtaking. If you want to learn more about the new LEGO Mindstorm Spike Prime System Robot Inventor set, then click on the video right over here. This is your Unbreak Me here, and I'll see you in the next one.